Hi, this is Scott Brown with another red line detection troubleshooting tech tip for addressing DTCs P0171 and 174. This two-part video series is designed to provide essential knowledge one needs when using the speed smoke from red line detection for investigating these types of faults. Essentially, these two DTCs are fuel trim related, and given their popularity, I've seen numerous vehicles with previous repair attempts resulting in unnecessary parts being replaced. Now the ECM goes to great lengths to continually predict cylinder air fill. Given that information, the ECM then knows how much fuel to deliver to the engine in order to achieve the right air to fuel ratio. The ECM then relies on feedback inputs from the air fuel ratio or narrowband oxygen sensor to report how accurate the fuel delivery was. The ECM then uses fuel trim to help correct for these errors in order to fine tune its predictions. Small errors are expected and DTCs are set when these errors get well out of range which can easily be monitored with the scan tool. Today we're seeing more and more non-naturally aspirated power plants which introduces a number of potential leak points which of course can lead to faults. So how can the wrong air to fuel ratio get delivered to the engine? Well, we could have inaccurate airflow measurements due to leaks. We could have incorrect fuel pressure. We could have defective or dirty fuel injectors. Or we could have fuel contamination. All of these I consider to be upstream issues with inaccurate airflow being our first point of order. Since the air flowing into the engine is at pressures greater than atmosphere when under boost, we need to be able to test the sealing integrity of the system under pressure. And this is where the speed smoke shines and makes this task much, much easier. Once you've established a test point, you'll want to identify any direct feeds into the crankcase and isolate them so we don't end up overpressurizing that area. You will want to ensure that the crankcase PCV system is whole, which we'll talk about more in part two of this series. Next, we'll fire up the machine and set the target pressure to five PSI and open the flow valve. Now, since there's quite a bit of space to fill, this may take a little bit of time. The first thing I like to do is take note of the flow meter and the system pressure gauge. This will help you understand when you've achieved filling and how big of a leak you may be dealing with. Next, inspect for leaks by looking for smoke and listening for air escaping. You can also try placing your hands around either side of connections and gently wiggling them to see if you can uncover a leak. Redline Detection offers this handy yellow colored LED inspection light to help with this process. Now just a side note, I've found that the boosted side of the speed smoke is great for testing naturally aspirated engines as well. Just limit the pressure to less than 2 psi. Recently we had an older Ford truck in with fuel trim DTCs and the speed smoke helped us identify a leak in the right rear of the engine compartment which was buried under a wiring harness. So once you've identified a leak, correct is needed. Now some of the quick connect points might contain serviceable o-rings. Others might have screw clamps, which I recommend looking at closely because the clamp positioning may have been improperly reassembled during a previous service operation. So you'll want to make sure that the connections are right and properly oriented. Well, that concludes this tech tip video. Please check out part two where we cover other possibilities and testing techniques you can use the speed smoke on to address these and other fuel trim related diagnostic trouble codes. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and thanks for watching.